Well, a very good Tuesday evening, everybody. Thanks for stopping by for your pinpoint forecast. Severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 10 p.m. That's for Milam County only and points off to the west. Here's why. You see some thunderstorms out there. They are kind of dropping some pretty large hail and pushing out some wind 60, 70 miles per hour. Still west of I-35, and we think as we go through the next few hours as we lose our daytime heat, those showers and thunderstorms should come down to just a little bit of rain, maybe some lingering lightning and some thunder, and maybe sure some gusty winds. But the severe weather threat for now looks low for the Brazos Valley. But that being said, we could see some scattered rain get in here anywhere time from sunset all the way to about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Best bet in northern and western counties. And then maybe a few small showers in our far eastern counties tomorrow afternoon. That gets us to tomorrow night. Still a rain chance. Look up north. More thunderstorms possible near the Metroplex. That could lead to some rain and thunderstorms in the area tomorrow night mainly after midnight then it's another round or at least another chance for rain and storms that's going to be coming anytime as we head into the late afternoon hours of thursday into the evening and overnight as a cold front moves through and maybe if that front lingers we could see it into friday morning but for right now i think most of it comes thursday night into thursday afternoon as well so tomorrow, after an overnight chance for rain and storms, we should see a good mix of sun and clouds. Maybe that very small chance for rain in the afternoon, a breezy day, and a hot and still humid one. Temperatures up around the mid to upper 80s, but feeling like the low 90s. There's your on and off again rain and thunderstorm chance. We should start early next week, or it's turned to the weekend rather. Quiet and dry, but then as we get into Sunday and into next week, that's when more rain and thunderstorms are possible in the Brazos Valley. Interactive Pinpoint Radar, it's linked to this video. Of course, we'll get you the latest details on what's happening out there on News 3 tonight at 10. Hope to catch you then.